Can a car be sinful? Well, this one can. The new Audi RS6 Avant is sinfully powerful, sinfully expensive and in every respect a temptation. Sure, it'll pass as a family estate. For families who don't think that the starting price of 107,000 euros is too much to pay. In reality, however, the RS6 Avant is a sports car disguised as an estate. It's just that the disguise doesn't quite come off. The car looks like a cross between a stealth bomber, the Batmobile and James Bond's latest company car. The exclusive interior is a sporty mix of leather and carbon. The exterior of the RS6 is marked by a mighty radiator, large air inlets, ultra-wide housings for the 21-inch wheels with ceramic brakes, a roof edge spoiler and, at the back, two fat oval tailpipes. Not exactly what you'd call unassuming. As far as the RS6's looks are concerned, I'm a bit ambivalent because the matte paintwork makes it look a bit like a boy racer car, which, on the other hand, suits the car perfectly. It matches the sound it makes and the power under the bonnet. And if a car is that wicked, then it's fair enough if it looks that way as well. And wicked it most definitely is. 560 horsepower and torque of 700 newton meters that's available between 1,750 and 5,500 RPM make the RS6 a rocket. Even if the tailpipes don't spew flames, but a deafening, breathtaking roar. Even in the comfort setting, the standard adaptive suspension is very taut. Switch to dynamic mode and any resemblance to a family estate vanishes. The chassis is so stiff that each and every bump can be felt and the occupants of the sports seats are given a good shaking. As the Audi shoots forwards, the speedometer and tachometer needles race skywards. Especially if you've bought the add-on dynamic package, itself the price of a small car, which raises the RS6's top speed from 250 to 305 kilometers an hour. Hard to believe that the motor is considerably smaller than its precursor. The motto of the new RS6 is downsizing. Its predecessor had a 5-litre V10 under the bonnet, the new version has a 4-litre V8, providing 20 horsepower less than before. On the other hand, it's 100 kilos lighter, which is a lot, and it has 50 newton meters more torque, namely 700, which powers the RS6 from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in an unbelievable 3.9 seconds. And on top of all that, it consumes 30% less petrol. So I'd say that all in all, the engineers at Audi have done a pretty good job. As always with a car's fuel economy, consumption figures are one of those things. Audi's official figure is 9.8 litres for 100 kilometres. But if you start using or even just try out the full potential of the RS6, then consumption starts to rocket. After our test run, the onboard computer indicated over 17 litres, which is probably not of great concern to those buying the RS6. And if it were, they can always drive the next 100 kilometers a little more economically. In normal mode, the eight-gear Tiptronic transmission changes early and smoothly. When the car has only a light load or is driven gently, the cylinder shutdown kicks in and the RS6 temporarily becomes a four-cylinder. The start-stop system, fitted as standard, also helps the driver at least approach Audi's official consumption figures. In reality, it doesn't really matter whether you drive this car as an economical family estate or as a sports car. The RS6 Avant may be sinful. Get in and drive, and you're in paradise. <laughs>